Findlay Stadium as they are ready to see NC State go to work. We believe we've got a great one in store today. And when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the NC State Wolfpack. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Canes will kick it away first. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the NC State Wolfpack offense is on the field and ready to start the game. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This all picked off. Got room on the return. Touchdown, Hurricane! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Oof, and after that pick six, not the start this quarterback wanted. You're going to have to be really good about having a short-term memory and just turn the page. There is tons of football here to be played. You made a big mistake on that last throw. Don't let it beat you for the rest of this football game. You've got a lot of ball left to play. You've got to keep going. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. North Carolina State has it back on the offense, headed to the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. A run up the middle is stuffed for no gain. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. Pick up a five, it'll be third down and five. Trying to pick up a first down. Dropping back, it's Bailey. Ball in the air, intercepted! Touchdown, Miami! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. The DB saw it, he thought, don't drop it, don't drop it, then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught, and he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I could be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play, but defense... Great job making the interception, and you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him short. He does not pick up the first down. NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. Having to kick it away after a three and out's not what they had in mind. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. A first down for the offense. Pulled it, finds his man on the left. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. And here on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. 
The give to the running back from the shotgun. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Motion from the offense. Right back to him on the ground. He showed it all there. A little lucidness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Canes come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the tailback. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line to pick up a one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He leaves it with his back. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes the field goal unit. He'll try to get the three. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. The score, Miami, 17, NC State, 0. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Boy, three and out last time, Davey. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm, got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They'll throw it on first down. That one never had a chance. It's incomplete. Line getting set on second down. Here's the handoff. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Trying to pick up a first down. To the air, it's Bailey. They're working that left side. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. They'll run it on the counter. Nifty little dance step. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They're facing a third down. They'll give it to the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. And that one's going to be batted away incomplete, and we have played one. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. 
Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Running back searching for a hole. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Power football with the run. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. To the ground to try to move the chains. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. And the Canes getting set on first and 10. Single back formation, and they give it to him. He just won't take a big hit. Slides off, guys. Makes moves. He's down to the 21. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Hurricanes have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, K. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Follow the blockers. The offensive bye will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Miami, 24, NC State, 0. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now. Ship into this lead. And try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Wants to throw. It's Bailey. It's complete. He's loose. He's at the 20. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Well, he was putting up big numbers coming into this one. We knew the quarterback was going to go his way early and often. And with that last catch, he's now got over 500 yards receiving on the air. The clear defensive strategy here is not to do whatever it was they did on the first play. They'll try to come up with a stop after giving up a huge game. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And the D deny them on second and goal. Quarterback duplicitous in his dealing. Some would even say sneaky. Two straight times they've been denied. Do they go to the ground again on third and goal? Pushes ahead. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wolfpack! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead. They still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half and fight and come back by so many points. So great job getting points. Get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. Lining up to add another. And after the extra point, they're now down 24 to 7. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. 
Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Tim Ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Anderson wants to throw. Right on target this time. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Canes decide to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's Rodgers. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Let's see what they have dialed up as this drive starts from the 29-yard line. Fires to the big fella. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form to Gets it out quickly. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. NC State quick to the line. He wants to throw. He'll take a shot. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina State. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Michigan State has the lead right now. Feels like it's been that way since Sparty's run out, but this has been a nip and tuck affair inside Spartan Stadium. Comes out throwing on first down. They're up by four over Oregon. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Give to the back. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Hurricanes will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Rodgers. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up any bit of yardage he could on the punt return. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Quickly complete. He's brought down, solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Back to throw, it's Bailey. Gets it out fast. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Wants to throw on first down. Looking deep down the right side. And that is interception number three on the day. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Have a day, young fella. Two interceptions already? That's, that's three, four, five, six games for some people. A hot start, catching the football. He's acting like he's playing wide receiver out there. I might think about trying a different DB. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown to get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. He's got an open man. 
good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. The offense will quickly use a timeout. timeout. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Looking to move it through the air. Fires and picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sent it the other way. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel and you get the pick. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. They're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Feeling some heat. And just too much on that pass. Too high, too wide, out of bounds, and complete. Just enough time for one final play in this half. They'll go to the ground. That should be the final play of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Raleigh. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas in Carter Finley Stadium. NC State will kick off the start things here in the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They open this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a huge statement, too, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David, just keep demoralizing this defense by pounding the football. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to let that happen. I, I riled up my guys at halftime. We're going to put more people in the box, and they've got to come out and meet the physical challenge of this offense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. They'll try the run. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. They're going to run it to the right. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. That last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Canes will send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And just a spectacular punt. He'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really 
put this offense in a hole. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Pocket starts to collapse. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Back to pass. It's Bailey. This time it's complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. NC State going up tempo. Bully ball on third and short. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You gotta get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Yeah, and a great job by the defense holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility. And it's picked off for the fourth time today. Not able to get loose on the return, but what a play to put his team in business at the 33. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points and start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He makes a catch. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. He now has 111 yards on the ground and just another day at the office for the national leader in rushing. It's complete. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Trying to barge in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricane. This is a guy that put a lot of pressure on himself coming into the season. He felt like he was ready to have a breakout year. He knew he had all the tools in the toolbox to be able to get it done, and he's showing it. That's his 10th rushing touchdown on the season. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Michigan State is ahead in East Lansing, but it's not exactly Kenneth Walker the third out there running the ball. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Oregon. The run to the right. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The RPO, it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. He's going to pass. Throws to the tight end. Got him downfield. The stiff arm, and now he's got room. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. Off play action. 
Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. The option look. Keeps the legs moving. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down, and we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. NC State at the line with a first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Wolfpack! That touchdown grabbed the 25th of his career. Not surprising either. When you've got this guy's ability at that position, quarterbacks are going to be looking for you. 25 touchdown catches, that's an impressive figure. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys that have been so big time. Big time moments, clutch plays, you know, makes those contested catches. He's a guy that can do everything, and that's why he's putting up such great stats. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll start this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's Larson. Good call. Good execution as they move the chains, and they have a first down at the 38. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And a great job on the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. They'll run it from the gun. Nice move to pick up yardage. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Got his man downfield. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. They'll test the right side. Runs through a tackle. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. This offense could not have executed in this situation any better, just draining some time off the clock. Anderson will throw. He's got him in the flat. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Wants to go up top. He's got it down the middle. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. After putting up the Number field goal, they're set to kick it away. Kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. Really Return disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Fast motion from the offense. He's looking for an open man on second down. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. 
On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Grab behind the line. It's Anderson. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Movement here from the tight end. They'll leave it with him. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, that's called paying off good field position. You've got the lead here late in the game. You've got the ball back. You're on your opponent's side of the 50, and on your very first play, you break off a long run. This defense right now is playing on their heels late. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. This will be picked off. Maybe just the turning point they needed. Got to run to run. He's at the 40. The 20. Past the 10. Touchdown, NC State. How about that D making the play and lining up the board and swinging some momentum in their favor? How fast did this game just change? Offense in the lead with the football looking great. Defense makes the big play. We've got ourselves a ball game now. On to attempt to try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and get the ball right back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Anderson wants to throw. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Now, that was a blitz from the middle linebacker. That's one the offensive line should have picked up. Regardless of what the pass protection was, sliding or going base man-to-man -man or fanning out, you generally always account for the middle linebacker. There's no reason to let him run the clean one. And the Canes will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And here's the fifth interception by this quarterback. Touchdown, Miami! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Play the analytics here and you go for two. Wide out in motion. Trying to pound their way in. He's not going to make it stop short of the goal line, and they are unable to extend this lead any further. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. 
Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Looking downfield, it's Bailey. He's got his man. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. NC State quick to the line. Yeah, you just run at a time where you can have these small gains where the clock continues to run. This offense definitely got to have some urgency down late in the game. I need to force some plays, Paul. We're probably down the field. And if you're the defense, you can have that all day. We're going to play big zones. We're going to keep the ball in front of us. We've got the lead. You're going to have to make catches like that and make us miss. But if you want to keep throwing those little dick and dunk throws, have at it. Because if you keep doing that, we're going to win the game. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. He wants to throw it again. And it's another interception as his assault on the record book continues. Trying to take it back. Touchdown, K. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. You see some confidence over there as they're closing in on a Week 7 win. How about a game-changing play for this defense? Stepping in front of the football and knowing what to do with it, taking it all the way to the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Duke is ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Daniel Jones, this offense is not guaranteed to just keep scoring points today. They're up by seven over Clemson. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Looking for a man, it's Bailey. Quick strike complete. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. Bringing it back. The 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Hurricane. How about that D coming up with a play like that? And this is exactly what you dream about for a defense. Forcing the big turnover, making the pick, and then putting points on the board yourself. Great play by the defense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He wants a big play here late. This catch inside the 25. Touchdown, Wolfpack! And once he got loose, it was all over. And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. 
He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. That was going to get a little star mark inside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They'd hoped to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it, keep chucking it, keep scoring. I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defensive job to stop. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field. Seemingly it will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is wasn't your cup of tea. I have more defense option. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that being scored. you got to stop late. That's why you got the dub.